Good morning, children. Today we are going to start lesson five: states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. So first of all, as you can see, the name of the chapter is states of matter. So you should know what is states. State means forms. So this means that matter can be found in different states or forms. So and you must also understand what is matter. Matter is something. that is weight and occupies space so whatever you see around you has some weight so it is made up of matter anything around you like water air animals human beings soil mountains rivers anything you see around you on this earth has some weight and it occupies a space on this earth so it is matter so in this chapter we are going to learn the different forms of matter in which it can exist like it can exist in three forms solid liquid and gas so we are going to study about them in this chapter okay so let us read the chapter now all the objects you see around yourself are made up of materials all materials contain matter matter is anything that has weight and occupies space like you can see that a book occupies space and has weight water has weight and it occupies space in the vessel holding it air also has weight and it occupies space now you can see in these pictures that books are occupying this much space and if you lift a book you can feel its weight also so you know books are heavy and they have weight and they occupy space then water you can see here water is inside the glass so it is occupying space inside the glass and if you lift a glass filled with water it will be heavier than the empty glass and in this picture you can see air is filled inside the balloon so balloon is become bigger in size because of the air inside it and it becomes heavy also now what is matter made up of matter is made up of tiny particles called molecules for example a piece of wood is made up of many molecules a drop of water has many molecules so molecules are the smallest substances that make matter now you have read here that molecules are made up of tiny particles called molecules they are very small children and we cannot see them with our naked eyes we can only see the molecules with the help of a microscope now states of matter matter exists in three states or forms solid liquid and gas now we will read about the solids you see many objects around you most of them are hard and generally remain as they are for example you see a table made up of wood plastic or iron you will never see a table made of soft material because it needs to be hard such hard things have a shape and fixed volume and are called solids children volumes means the space they occupy so it will be same always so that is why solids have a fixed volume and fixed shape until and unless we apply force the molecules in solids are tightly packed you can see here the molecules in solid they are tightly packed there is hardly any space between them and there is no space for movement that is why the solids remain in the same shape always because their molecules are so packed they are unable to move some solids might change shape by application of force some solids can be bent or broken by applying force suppose you take a iron rod and you try to bend it if you apply enough force you can bend it so some solids can be bent and also some can be broken suppose you put a hammer on a rock then it can be broken because we are applying force but otherwise solids are hard and they have fixed volume and 
fixed shape that is the special characteristic of solids now we will read about liquids water milk and lemonade are all liquids we see that they do not have any fixed shape now you can see liquids do not have a fixed shape because if you put milk in a glass it will take the shape of a glass if you put milk in a pan it will take the shape of the pan so all the liquids take the shape of the vessel holding them liquid is that state of matter which does not have a fixed shape but has a fixed volume because you must have seen that if you take 1 liter of milk and you put it in a glass or in a bucket or in a pan it will remain 1 liter only so its volume is fixed but it can change its shape according to the vessel in which it is kept here the molecules are not packed as tightly as in solids liquids can be poured and can flow liquids are also called fluids now you can see the molecular structure of liquids there is space in between the liquid molecules of liquids that is why they can move and you know molecules are always moving so they can move like this and they can also flow that is why liquids can flow because there is the space for movement of molecules then we come to gases we can feel the wind blowing but we cannot see it we see the smoke coming out of the cooker when we cook food these are all examples of gaseous state of matter now we can see the third form in which the matter is found is gas gases have no fixed volume and no fixed shape the molecules in gases are very loosely packed so they can flow easily you might have noticed that the smell of a perfume spreads in a room this is because it is a gas and the molecules of gas flow to every corner now you can see the molecules of a gas they are so far from each other and there is lot of space for movement and you know molecules are always moving so they push each other and then they can move apart that is why gases can flow and they can move apart to far away places so gases do not have a fixed volume and they do not have a fixed shape now you can see states of matter are found in three forms you this is i have made this flow chart so that it is easier for you to learn the states of matter are three solid liquid and gas now example of solids is plastic wood iron ice etc then liquids examples are milk water tea lemonade example of gas air water vapor oxygen children you learn the examples they can come in exam so uh, you could be asked to write examples two two examples of solid liquid and gas so you should know the examples of all three states of matter now here is a comparison of states of matter and of the molecules now you can see look here properties are here we will talk about the properties and then we will see how they are different in all the three states of matter now you can see example of solid is ice example of liquid is water and example of gas is steam or water vapor now we take this example of water and ice and steam because not all matter or uh, material is found in all three states but water is easily available in all three states that is why it is easy to study the properties of matter in all three states that is why we take the example of water because it can be found in solid form as a ice and also as a steam in gaseous form now we will see the arrangement of molecules in solids you have seen in the diagram also tightly packed they are very tightly packed in liquids the arrangement of molecules is loosely packed and in gases they are very loosely packed they are far from each other then you can see the shape solids have a fixed shape liquids do not have a fixed shape because they take the shape of the container in which they are kept then gases their also shape is not fixed because they 
move from one place to another easily they can flow then volume fixed volume then liquids also have a fixed volume because you have seen that liquids if it is one liter liquid and it will remain one liquid whether you put it in a glass or a bottle or a cup or a pan wherever you keep it but the liquid will remain fixed in its volume then gases even volume is not fixed because it can move to far away places if it is kept open then ability to flow you know solids cannot flow because its molecules are very tightly packed liquids can flow and gases can flow very easily even more easily than liquids okay children so today you have learned about three states of matter their characteristics and comparison in next class we will continue with the chapter read the chapter at least two times from your books if you have not bought the books till now you can see this video two times and read along with me okay see you then in the next class thank you take care